Hey guys, it's PS4 Trophies and my name is Brian and I'm showing you all the collectibles in the story levels in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And I'm in my house here and I'm showing you the replay mission screen here and you can see which levels have collectibles. The first three don't have anything to acquire, uh, only the 4th, 6th, 7th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 14th mission have anything in there. Now I'm not showing you any of the free roam collectibles oh, because there's three, four hundred of them and that would be an extremely boring video and you can get those at any time these you would have if you miss them you'd have to go and do chapter select here to to go and get those so i'm only showing you the ones here in the mission but if you do hang out towards the end of the video i will touch on the free roam aspect here and give you some pointers and tips so we're starting off here on the fourth mission in it's called uh raid on uh oscorp here and this is uh right here in the lab and if you take your camera out, hold down the R3 button to get your camera out, and you're gonna take a photo of these uh, wings over here, the flight harness. And you do get the, uh, the uh, images you need to take through your email. You get them from Jameson. So that's the first uh, collectible in here. There's also going to be a, a couple audio logs as well in this exact same room. Now the audio logs are not hard to uh, miss there. Uh, there's gonna see a hologram of a person's head on the top and there's one right over here So we just jumped down from where we were and we picked up the audio log now. There's another one nearby here I just freed uh, Dylan here and uh, I'm gonna head in the back over here and go to the right and there's gonna be one in the corner here Now moving on, this is the next main section that you come to, the next big area. And uh, come over here to the right and there's going to be this uh, spinning propeller thing. To, uh, do a web shoot on it. And then you're going to go jump into here. And there's going to be some tech here. And behind that is the audio log. Now you don't get it, need to get any of the tech uh, for any of the trophies or collectibles in this game. Uh, unlike the, uh, the first one, I believe you did have to do it. But not in this one so the next one is going to be another photo and this is in the same room I just kind of went right back to where I was and then we're gonna go jump up to the second floor here and then you're gonna to want to look through this window here and there's gonna be some robot limbs and you need a, again R3 to get your camera out zoom in so your uh, crosshairs are green and snap that photo now we're moving into the lion's den and this is the sixth mission and there's only one audio log in this uh, mission and I'm here at the beginning and uh, eventually you're gonna jump down into this hole and you see that guy down there there's also going to be an audio log in this exact section in the back right corner and you can see it over there glowing Did your mom tell you you could be anything you want? Cause she was wrong I might just have a future at this and that is it for that uh, that mission now we're gonna go to the seventh mission the next one is called no one is safe and this is in the theater now there's Collectibles here in the theater and there are two more in the harbor later on now The first one is gonna be right here in the beginning and you're gonna walk past that three or four times So it's you're not gonna miss that one and then the same area here at The near the front of the stage And just to the left there's gonna be a, a locked door to the left here And you can kind of see the glowing audio log already We're gonna go ahead and pick that up and then from this location, we're going to go and follow the mission objective, which is uh, requires you to follow a waiter. And then we're gonna go through these double doors over here. And just immediately to the right of these doors is going to be another audio log. Now all the collectibles in the missions are all just audio logs and photos, so that's it. Now this is a little further on, this is backstage. You're going to do that little counter there with the uh, green circle and save the uh, hostages. And back here is going to be another audio log. And then uh, right next to where that was, I just kind of rewound it here. There's going to be a photo opportunity here. And this is the uh, uh, Wizard Excellent. Quentin Beck's uh, stuff. This is Crystal Ball. Is so it. again, take a photo of that. What's Use your R3 button to get your camera ball. out. It's a myth. And in this exact same area, there's going to be one more audio log in the back right corner over here. 
You can see the, a faint glimmering of the blue there. But I'm going to go jump Just over that so you're not going to get a good look, but it was okay, right there. And that's uh, it for that section. Move In the same uh, mission, and this is in the harbor towards the end, there's going to be some battle armor, and you need to take a photo of this. And he's right back hiding over here. This is kind of to the back right of where you started the, this area from. So get a good shot of this. It's kind of tricky to get a, a to get this to, to register, but just play around with your camera, you'll get it. And then there's going to be one more audio log, and that's going to be near where we just were here, and it's going to be back be, uh, by this building back here. This is to the right of where you start, to the far right. And on the back of this uh, truck over here is the audio log. And that's it for that one. Now we're going to the uh, Claws of the Cat level, and this is in the museum. Now there's three collectibles in here, two audio logs and a photo. And the first audio log is going to be here to the left. Now I'm going to uh, go right from here and I'm actually going to pass the photo. Um, I didn't realize it at the moment. But we're going to find another audio log above this egg display case. Now it's, you can't, couldn't really see it, but it's up there. Take my word for it. Now we're going to take a picture of the ancient warrior mask. And this is right here just to the left. So go ahead and get a photo of that. And that will be it for the Claws of the Cat level. This is the ninth mission. There was none in the eighth one. Now this is my ally, my enemy, and this is in Harry's apartment. That's now there's three collectibles about. right here at the beginning. As soon as you can gain control of your character, you got this big ass head over here. And there's going to be another one, and then also a photo as well. So we're going to go and get the uh, second audio log here. They're real easy. You can't, you won't miss them. You might have to go out of your way to actually miss those. And that's it for the two audio logs in the chapter. Now we're just going to get a photo, and it's of this pumpkin. Huh. A little early for Halloween, isn't it? So we're going to go ahead and take a photo of that pumpkin. Now that's and this is the uh, tenth mission. I hate to... The next one is the the eleventh Why mission. Is the like uh, the kingpin of crime? <laughs> and when you go into the building, uh, go up through here. Now this is kind of open world. You can kind of get these in any. Uh, order, but just kind of go back here and underneath the building from which you entered is going to be the first audio log. There's some tech back there. Again, not required, but it's good for us. Uh, it's money actually, so you want to get that so you can buy upgrades. Now we're kind of going back. That's right where I was. And instead, we're going to make a left and jump out this window here, and it's going to be in the corner. All right, so now we're back in the building. Now, if you're in the building, the main building in the center of the area, and go out the back uh, open window here, you're gonna kind of see this. Uh, I guess it's a silo. If I take down the armor and back guys, uh, the over here, just do. around it, is gonna be a truck, and on the hood of the truck is the audio log. So go ahead and pick that up. Now we're back in that building. We're gonna kind of jump down into the lower basement area, and in the back corner here. There's going to be an audio log. There used to be some stuff you had to use a web pool on to, to, to pull some stuff down and it would reveal the audio log, but I already pulled it down. So the next one is going to be the uh, the photo. And this is in the very back of the level. And there's a couple ways you can get back here, but it's uh, towards the uh, end of the uh, where you need to go for the mission objective. But there's going to be some sand back here. And in the sand is going to be a green t-shirt for some reason. So you need to take a picture of that. And that is our photo opportunity for this level. And now we're going to be go into the Kingpin uh, of Crime's lair itself. And uh, this is where you fight him. And back behind him on this council is going to be the audio log. You probably did not miss that. So that's it for the 11th mission. Now we're moving on to the 14th and final one, and this is Maximum Carnage. Now you're going to come to this electrified cage. You can't miss it. There's a bunch of water on the ground, so be careful. Don't electrocute yourself. But what you want to do is make your way around and go inside of there. Now you're supposed to go to the opening on the left. 
but you go inside of here and there's going to be an audio log sitting right there for you. And that's, that's the last audio log in the, uh, in the actual missions. We have one more photo opportunity here. And this is later on. This is where you need to go uh, take a photo of Project Venom. So you're going to swing across here. And the photo that you need to take is actually just a sign right up here. It says Venom Wing. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And that is all the collectibles and all of the story missions. Now you want to go and do the uh, free roam. Um, I'm not going to show all of them, but you do want the acuity upgrade here. Uh, this is going to allow you to see any environmental objects like tech pieces, audio logs, and comic pages. And uh, you can actually see them from a pretty long distance. So you activate your Spidey Sense with the up on the D-pad. And when you have it activated, if you go behind something that's dark or black at nighttime, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see a lot of the uh, comic book pages kind of twinkling in the distance there. And some pretty good range on this too. Also, when you go near them, you're going to hear the little chime sound. Um, so I highly recommend you do this at nighttime. I also recommend you turn the music down, go into your settings, turn the music down so you can hear the, uh, the chime when you are near one of them. So just going to go around. Uh, you're going to need to pick up audio logs. Uh, I'm going to have a lot more information on my website. It's uh, in the description below. You'll see it. But in addition, uh, yeah, as you can see, you can see the uh, comic book Just through the through surfaces, so it makes it kind of really easy to see it. But you're also going to need to get these Oscorp crates as well. There's a thousand tech pieces in each one of them, and you do need 30 of them. Actually, I think there's more than 30 of them around. Uh, if you run across those little uh, bot things, make sure you kill them quickly. And then occasionally you're going to see some flying uh, uh, comic book pages, so you're just going to have to hit R1. And then you're going to have to do a, a quick time event prompt there. So that's it, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my website. I am going to have a lot more detail about the uh, uh, free roam collectibles uh, in the next coming days. Thanks for watching, guys.